Every day we're surrounded by free energy from up there, which gives us a great opportunity to make free hot water up there. At Wagner, we're just as concerned with quality installation as we are with supplying you with quality equipment. We're about to show you everything you need to know to install this Wagner Secasol system from how to mount the collectors on various kinds of roofs, or in this case, on the side of a wall, how to plumb the collectors correctly, how to set the tank, how to plumb the tank, and how to provide backup for your customers. In the end, what we're concerned with is you maximize the performance of this system for your customers so they get the results they're expecting. The Secasol system you're about to install is an incredibly flexible solar hot water system. In order to get the maximum performance from your Secasol, you should do a thorough site survey of your customer's house. The things that you're interested in are the pitch and orientation of the roof. Does the ridge on the house run east-west? For instance, the one behind me, the pitch of the roof runs north-south, so the collectors you see are mounted on the south side of the house. Is the roof steep enough or can we mount on the wall steep enough? Is there shading from surrounding trees that will diminish performance? And finally, do you have a good location to run the line set, which again, remember, has a 28-foot maximum height and a 50-foot maximum run in order to get the best performance from your Secasol. All of these things contribute to making sure that your customer gets the kind of performance they're expecting.